layout managers or user to arrange components in a particular manner the java layout managers facilitate as to control the positioning and size of the components in gui frames so there are three types of layouts flow layout border layout grid layout flow layout flow layout arranges the components in a directional flow either from left to right or from right to left object with center alignment and horizontal and vertical gap to be default size of 5 pixels these i will explain there now border layout a border layout lays out a container arranging its components to fit into five regions like uh, example north south east west and center for each region it may contain no more than one component when adding different components you need to specify the orientation of it to be the one of the five regions grid layout is used to lay out the components in a rectangle grid which has been divided into equal sized rectangles and one component is placed in each rectangle it can be constructed with the following methods those methods i will show you in coding part so before that we see about j menu bar j menu and menu item declaration uh, if we take suppose uh, open let me let me show you then only will get here uh, open notepad here you can see file edit and new new window edit format view help here this is uh, the the file edit format view help those are menus and the entire file edit format view help will be menu bar and these are menu items new new window so these also we will be showing you with java so this is layout import java it's dot swing we use swings here for gui frames we have to use swing i explained you swings already import java dot awt awt abstract windowing toolkit public class layout 1 j frame frame j button button 1 2 3 j button is java button java frame layout 1 frame equal to new j frame title layout example button 1 new button button like this we will show the buttons frame dot set layout new flow layout flow layout dot center next we add frame add button one button two button three frame dot set visible true frame dot set size and public static void main string args new layout let's see yeah this is the flow layout here you can see button 1 2 3 so this is what flow layout here new layout if you don't give this line skip this line then uh, the buttons will will be merged so we have to give this these are the size between width and height and this uh, button uh, if you 
keep here true then it visible false then the button will not be visible to us we just added the buttons and flow layout that's it means border layout before border layout let me detail you flow layout construct a new flow layout object with center alignment and horizontal and vertical gap to default size of 5 pixels flow layout in we align we can align construct similar object with different settings on alignment uh, flow layout in align in hatch gap horizontal gap vertical gap construct similar object with different settings on alignment and gaps between components border layout border layout construct a border with no gaps between components uh, border layout in horizontal gap vertical gap we can construct a border layout with specified gaps between components so this is the code of border layout import java h dot swing import java dot awt public class j frame frame j button five buttons i gave this is j frame new frame j frame border layout example buttons and frame dot set layout frame dot add this will be common for all buttons and i gave north south east west center frame dot set visible to frame dot set size public static void main string args new layout two let me show show you yeah this is the border layout you can see here these were the buttons we gave and grid layout grid layout construct a grid layout with one column per component in a single row grid layout in rows columns construct a grid layout with specified number of rows and columns uh, here also we can specify in row column horizontal gap vertical gap construct with specified rows columns and gaps between components import java h dot swing import java dot awt public class layout j frame frame j button but six buttons layout three j frame frame equal to new frame grid layout example north south east west center and this is a frame set layout new grid layout rows columns horizontal gap vertical gap frame dot add buttons frame dot set visible to frame dot pack here you have to observe this line uh, in place of frame dot pack we can give frame dot set size uh, like with height you can do that also but when we give this frame dot pack method then it automatically decides how much width and height uh, it will be given you according to your uh, numbers and whatever we give test in buttons i'll show you that equipment in the arbus here you can see that it gives the output like this read layout frame dot pack it automatically sets the width and height Output. 
so now we go to menu i already showed you the menu bar and menu item will be like that now let me show you the example import java x dot swing import java dot awt dot event dot action event when you give action event then only the button responds to you i mean like uh, if you press uh, press the one key like save print then it gives you uh, return answer like alert boxes and alert the information any it gives only when you add action listener event import java dot awt dot event dot action listener public class menu j menu menu sub menu j menu i give menu item one two three six as one six j menu bar menu bar menu one j frame frame new j frame title menu example new bar menu bar new j menu bar menu new j menu file i like which is to you notepad now we are going to bring this output with our java and java code see here here i gave file sub menu new j menu print so these are the menu items new open save print print preview exit i gave these menu items and added menu dot add items menu items sub menu added those and added action listener menu item 1 add action listener new action listener public void action perform action event e j option pane or show message dialog frame New option selected. Alert. J option. Er error message. New layout three. Menu dot item six. Add action listener. New action listener. Frame dot dispose. It automatically closes. Frame dot set J menu box. Set size layout and set visible true. Public static appointment string ARGS new menu. See this. It looks same like the notepad. So file new open save exit print here sub menus print print preview like this. If I click open. Save, exit. It disposes. Yes. That's the result. Now let's jump into SQL. Load managers. J menu. One item. Preparation. MySQL and we are starting our SQL course. First of all, what is database? A database is a collection of information that is organized so that it can be easily accessed, managed, and updated. Data is organized into rows columns and tables and it is indexed to make it easier to find relevant information data gets updated expanded and deleted as new information is added database management system is a software that interacts with an user application and database itself to capture and analyze the data so here is the example database will look like this and these are rows or record or tuple 
entity table name column or field or attributes so what is table or entity structure inside database that contains data organized in columns this is table or entity and column field attributes each column in a table is used to interpret its meaning and it's called column or field or attributes row each row in a table represents a record and is called a tuple tuple record row all are same so dbms a software system allows the access to data in database like this database dbms users relational database management system has relationship between tables using primary keys foreign keys and indices so oracle mysql sql server sqlite postgres sql these all are software where sqlite also called uh, no sql nowadays like mango db so on so so our is mysql now mysql is fast easy to use relational database it is currently the most popular open source database very commonly used with various programming languages to create powerful and dynamic service side application it is used for many small and big businesses also uses the client server model database typically resides on a server and it is accessed via client through the internet a client can be an interface for direct manipulation such as workbench workbench features of sql open source database very powerful program so it can handle a lot set of functionality of the most expensive and powerful database packages quicker than other databases so it can work well even with the large data set and also support many operating system with many languages like php perl java etc and uses a standard form of well known sql data language functionalities we can create and drop databases create tables insert the data in those tables we can also update or modify the data delete data from the tables and help uh, with the help of select query we can retry the data in very efficient manager apart from these there are lots of things like primary key foreign key constraints etc structure query language it is commonly used with all relational databases for data definition and manipulation mysql uses sql to define update and query the database SQL is used by virtually all relational database systems. Features of SQL: It is a non-procedural language. is an English-like language. It can process a single record as well as set of records at a time. All SQL statement define what is to be done rather than how is to be done. SQL has facilities for defining database views, security, transaction, etc. Installation. Now I'll show installation process of MySQL software. Type download MySQL on internet, and there will be uh, the following, like. MySQL community downloads. Open that. 
and there will be option like install 64 bit go to there and click download community gpl download click on load There will be many like cluster, router, but we want community server. Download MySQL community server. You can select operating system. Select OAS version. 64 bit. And then you, you have to click go to download play a phase instead of other downloads those other downloads will lead to other software so just click go to download page and then here you can see windows x86 32 bit msi installer the one which is higher uh, storage or not 5.8 so just download that click on download now here it shows login sign up these are not necessary so just no thanks just start my download click on it and then save file it takes some time now Open that MySQL installer community. Its latest version. Installing. The process going on. Click on as. Now allow this app to make changes to your PC as. license agreements click on next just accept the license uh, terms next so developer default you can leave the setup type description there server only client only for every one they gave the setup type description but uh, we go with developer default as we are, we need we want to develop something with Java plus SQL. We are going to select the developer default. So, workbench, Excel router shell. VS Visual Studio connections. This is all about developer default. So now click on next. I'm just showing about each and everything. So when we click on next, it uh, gives the alert box one or next click execute it takes time to progress all all the given requirements installation requirement so just wait for some time when it shows complete status click next Mm. 
now configuration server ready to configure router samples and example next now for type and networking standalone mysql server classic mysql server just keep default and click next and here type and networking configure development mission just choose the default one development mission and connectivity tcp ip port number if you want you can uh, change but it's uh, default one it's better to keep that one only and now open firewall port for network access keep everything as it is and mysql root port password give a password repeat that simple password because you have to remember this next click on add user now here type your username i just type code bind and next local host anything you can select just keep all host here also you can select backup admin db admin db designer db manager but i'm using the default db admin password just provide the one which you already given before confirm password click ok now everything is fine so just keep, click on next your window service window service name mysql 57 so we standard system account as nest and plugins and extension mysql just click next here apply configuration just click execute or the process will be done automatically after that here it shows nest so now process completed so just click finish this was the steps stopping server writing configuration file updating adjusting installing uh, starting applying so on so product configuration next and click that mysql server here check password next execute now finish click on finish yeah now it opened the shell mysql and also workbench so that's the installation process